Welcome back to the Stream Loots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and Stream Loots. In today's video, we're specifically going to focus on one of the best bots out there, in my opinion, called Streamlabs Chatbot. And the Streamlabs Chatbot is a program developed for Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer that provides entertainment and moderation features for your stream so that you can focus on what you do best, which is play the game and interact with your viewers. I'll show you how to download the bot, set it up with your streaming platform, and then take you through some of the basic features that are available in the bot. With that being said, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna wanna go to streamlabs.com slash chatbot. And once we're here, we're gonna be able to download this program to our PC. Now, before we get into the bot itself, it's gonna be really important for you to download the documentation that is associated with the platform that you stream on. For me, that's gonna be Mixer. Um, and so I'm gonna download this PDF and this is actually gonna give me a lot of information in setting up uh, this bot with the platform that I'm streaming on because it is a little bit different from platform to platform. I'm not gonna go through all of this, but it's something that you should go through when you have some time. That'll give you a lot more detail than what we'll go into in this video. So once we've opened up the Streamlabs chatbot, we're gonna to need to connect both our streamer account and our bot account with the platform. In order to do that, we're gonna click on connections down at the bottom left here, and we're gonna click generate token. And this is gonna bring up a prompt for us to log into the platform uh, first as our streaming account. And we're gonna approve the bot to interact with our streaming account. And then we also need to connect our Mixer bot account or your Twitch bot account, whatever that account might be. We're going to click the same thing here. We're going to generate token and we're going to log into that account as well. To verify that we've connected these accounts successfully, you can see it listed under the events in the console tab right here. All right, so let's take a look at some of the global settings before we get into some more of the meat of the bot. We're going to click on the cog wheel here. And this is gonna open up a prompt that's gonna allow us to select an audio device, whatever we might have connected to the PC, we can select from the list here. And we can also change the bot message send delay. We can enable or disable the auto connect on launch, which will keep us from having to log into our bot account and streamer account every time we uh, open the, the bot. We can also enable or disable the viewer count. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the features that are available on the left side here of the Streamlabs chatbot. Up at the top, you're gonna see dashboard. This is gonna be where you're gonna uh, set the stream title for your stream, the game that you're playing, and then also the audience rating of the stream. And then over uh, right below that, you're gonna see commands. And the commands tab is gonna allow you to add uh, custom commands with unique parameters, which again, if you look at the documentation for your platform, you can see a list of a lot of the, the commands that are available to you and the parameters that are available. But the commands are gonna allow you to have automated uh, uh, chat messages that pop up uh, when a certain command is run in the chat. So let's add a basic command here just so you can get an idea of what you can do with this. So I'm gonna click on that plus sign and go to add and I'm gonna create a command that um, encourages my viewers to follow me on my social media accounts. Uh, let's do a Twitter command. So that, what I just typed in there, exclamation point Twitter is what would be typed into the chat that would run the command. We can apply a cost to that command, uh, assign the usage for that command, we can enable or disable the command, and then we can group this command um, to make it easier to search for it if we wanna edit it later. Um, we can give different permissions for who can run this command, uh, regulars, subscribers, um, everyone. And then down below here under cooldowns, we can set a cooldown for that command as well as what this command is gonna initiate after that command is run. So basically when somebody types exclamation point Twitter in the chat, it's gonna activate this response. So let's type in a response here. So follow Preacher on Twitter. And then we'll type in the URL. So now that we've got that typed in, we're gonna submit this and it's gonna add it as a command under our commands list. So when I go to the console, this is gonna be a running log of my chat. So let's try to test this command out and see what it does. So I'm gonna type exclamation point Twitter and you're gonna see my bot account that I've uh, connected here is gonna run the command that we've just added. 
you can get really creative with the commands once you have a better understanding of the parameters that you can use within the commands just make sure to use your documentation for your platform and check out what's available um, with the Streamlabs chatbot. Now, let's say that we want a command to run on an automated timer. When we go to the timers tab, we can actually add a, uh, a new command that actually will activate every um, so often depending on what we set. So let's say we want that Twitter command to run every 10 minutes. We're gonna give this timer a name and then we are going to uh, type in the command that we want to run during that time interval. So we're gonna submit that, it's gonna add it under our timers here. And then when we go to the settings, we can actually select the time frame that we want that command to run. So now that I've set it at 10 minutes and a minimum chat lines of five, which basically means five messages, five message lines before this command would run. Now that we've set those, every 10 minutes or five chat lines, this command is gonna run in the chat so you'll see it pop up automatically on its own every 10 minutes pretty cool another cool option is quotes let's say you say something during a game that you're playing and you want to give your uh, viewers the opportunity to uh, quote it or pull that quote up you can actually uh, manually enter in quotes for example i'm an idiot this is something that I've said before, and it got quoted immediately by my moderators. You can submit that. And now, anytime somebody runs quote number zero, they will see this quote pop up in the chat. So for example, when I go to the console, and I type in exclamation point quote, and I type in zero, it's gonna pop up the quote here. Streamlabs chatbot can also help you manage giveaways. If you want to run one of those in your channel, you'll click on the giveaway tab here. And before we uh, edit these settings here, let's go to the global settings for giveaways. So here under command, this is the command the viewer is going to have to run in the chat in order to enter. So let's change it to enter, for example. And we're going to select um, the prize that's available. Um, so let's say uh, we're going to give away a, a t-shirt. We can adjust the join permission here, who can enter the giveaway, whether or not there's a ticket cost, and then the amount of time that that giveaway is gonna run for. So let's say 10 minutes. So now we're gonna open the giveaway, and now I'm gonna look at our chat log here, and it's gonna, it's gonna pop up this prompt that says what the giveaway's for, and then tell the viewers how to enter that giveaway. So if I wanna enter the giveaway, I'm gonna type in exclamation point enter, and this is going to be a message sent to me that's going to say that I've entered the giveaway. And that's the giveaways. Really simple and a great way to have the bot run uh, giveaways on your behalf. The song request feature is an awesome feature that allows your viewers to cue music and videos uh, behind your live stream. So if you want to enable that feature, you'll go to the song request tab and then click the button at the top left here. And then we can actually blacklist songs import playlists or load a playlist file um, but this connects directly with youtube and we can actually change all of the permissions in the global settings here for who can run requests um, whether it's moderators or subscribers we can change uh, the max duration of songs um, as well as how many songs can be in the queue at a time this is a great feature to enable if you want to give your viewers an opportunity to engage in your stream uh, through the music side of things. Sound files are another great way to create engagement with your chat. This actually allows them to trigger a sound during moments in your stream or your gameplay that'll play for the stream to hear. And in order to enable that, we'll click the button right at the top left here and we can add a sound file by clicking add here. Um, a lot of these fields are similar to our command fields that we've seen before. And if we want to add a sound file, we're going to go to the sound file field and click pick. And this is going to allow us to search our PC for a sound file that we want to play when the sound file command is uh, run in the chat. So let's say you want to have a day where you play with a certain viewer group. You can actually utilize Streamlabs chatbot's queue feature um, to create a running list of people that join that list um, to play with you. So when we go here, we can change the title of the queue, the command that needs to be run by the viewer to enter that list, 
uh, the permissions, basically who we want to allow to play, and then also the cost involved and the max queue size. This is a great feature if you're somebody who likes to play with your viewers or you want to have a subscriber only day. Um, I highly recommend utilizing this feature with this bot. So let's say you want to keep track of uh, how many times something happens during your stream. Um, a great example would be if you're playing a single player game and you want your chat to be able to see how many times you've died in that game during that stream. Well, this is where the counter feature comes in. When we go to the counter feature, I'm actually going to remove my overlay here so you can see all of the settings. We can actually change the uh, command name, um, the message template, um, and what number we're starting at. So obviously at the beginning of a stream, you're playing a single player game, you wanna track how many deaths, we're gonna start at zero. Um, you can edit the font size for that overlay, uh, the font type, the font style, um, basically anything as far as how it looks right down here. And then when we start that, it's gonna allow us to have that counter be a command that's runnable in the chat log. So for example, when I type exclamation point death, it's gonna tell me how many deaths I'm currently at. The currency feature allows you to create a lot of chat loyalty engagement with your viewers. Essentially, you give them a defined currency that you customize for performing different types of actions. And then they can take that currency and spend it on different things like running a quote command or entering mini games or uh, entering polls or betting, different things that you can set up that we'll talk about in just a minute. So when we check out the settings here, we can uh, define what the command is, the response from that command that usually shows how much has been earned by the viewer, um, and then the payouts for watching live or watching somebody that you're hosting, um, as well as event payouts, things like raids, follows, subs, and hosts. Again, another great way to create loyalty engagement with your viewers. Another great place for your viewers to use their currency is through the mini games, the polls, and the betting features. In each of these features, there's different fields that you can edit. You can change the commands that are required to run these features. And they're really ultimately just a great way for your channel, um, really your viewers to engage with each other um, during moments when maybe you're more dialed into the game that you're playing. And the last thing that we're gonna talk about is the notifications feature. And this is gonna work best when connected to Streamlabs. In order to connect to your Streamlabs account, you can click on the profile button at the bottom Click on the Streamlabs tab, generate token, and then connect through your account here. Once you've connected your Streamlabs account, you're going to be able to edit the notifications that pop up in the chat when your viewers perform various actions like follow, host, subscribe, um, or donate. And this is basically the message that pops up in the chat when somebody follows. So you can get creative, make it unique, and have fun with it. And that is Streamlabs Chatbot in a nutshell, you guys. I hope this video was helpful for you, at least as far as scratching the surface of this bot. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions ever, whether um, it's about the bot or anything related to streaming, please make sure to drop into the comment section below and let us know what you're thinking. You can also ask me live. I'm live six days a week, Sunday through Thursday in the evenings and then Friday during the day. We would love to have you there as well. And as always, you guys, to stay up to date with all things streaming and stream loots, make sure to click that subscribe button, turn your alerts on so you don't miss out on the future content that we have coming out. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys in the next video.